Hi. I'd like a corsage tonight for my date uh, to the prom. <laughs> it's a girl. Oh, it's okay. Everybody's nervous on their prom night, even us girls. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. Guess I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she must be pretty. Oh yeah. Oh, she's uh, she's more than pretty. She's uh, she's really cute. <laughs> no, uh, cute cute's wrong. She's uh, she's pretty cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, how, what color gown is your young lady wearing? Excuse me? Well, we don't want to cassage that clashes now, do we? Oh, no, we don't, that's for sure. Uh, she's wearing uh, pink. Pinkish. Actually, it's, it's kind of a green. Um, with, with a little lavender. Do you have any black flowers? You know, uh, you boys never have an eye for clothes. You know, I, I remember when Mr. Krellman... You know what? I'll just save you. I'll just take this. This is no problem. Wait, that, that's a cactus. Ah, yeah. And a corsage. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, no, there's too much money. Oh. Oh, God. I'm going to go pick up my dress, OK? Oh, oh, I am sorry. Oh, oh. Hi, Patrice Roger. Hi there. Sorry we can't talk long. We've got tons of shopping to do before the prom. Isn't this so exciting? I can't wait until tonight. I wonder who'll be named king and queen. Oh, God, I would just die if it was me. And Roger, too, of course. Uh, well, in that case, uh, good luck. <laughs> and Roger, too, of course. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Great to see you again. What's he buying corsage for? I mean, who'd go to the prom with him? Did you see his polo shirt? It didn't even have a polo guy on it. Please. Huh? Oh. Never mind. Uh, I gotta get some starlight pink blusher and then run over to the shoe store to get those Charles Jadon pumps. Hey! Well, you got a big night tonight, huh? Yeah. Did I tell you I ran into Robbie Lipson down at the hairstylist? Said he got accepted to Princeton. Oh, great. How about you? Did you hear from Maryville College yet? Um, you know what? I think I forgot to send in the transcripts. But besides, Dad, I don't think my grades would have been all that great. You know, that's so typical of you, Dan. Come on, you're a bright kid. You don't apply yourself. Dad, look, I don't even know if I want to go to college. I, I don't know anything about anything. Well, I'll tell you something. You got to be more self-confident. You got to be more aggressive. Now, give me that Springsteen tape. I got a date tonight. <laughs> um, I think it's by my computer. Oh, great. Another picture of Jupiter. Where's that Heather Locklear poster I gave you? You know what? I think I hung that one up at Mom's house. I know what's bothering you. You do? Yeah. It's your date tonight. What about her? Well, you got a real fox, right? Oh, uh, right. Uh, she's real cute, Dad. I knew it. You are Jack Lefcourt's boy, and the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? That's right, Dad. Uh, I'm an acorn. <laughs> I remember my senior prom. I had the hottest chick in Bedford Falls on my arm. And my arm was all over her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dad, look, um, can we talk about something? Of course we can talk. I'm a marriage counselor. Problems are my business. I know. I know what you're thinking. You're afraid I'm going to come down on you if you stay up all night. I don't even want to see you back here until dawn, young man. You got that? <laughs> and I know you want to impress her by showing up in a great car. All right, here. You take the caddy. Happy now? Dad. Dad. Dad! One, please. Um, what time does the last movie get out? 6 a.m. Perfect. Don't go, Skip. It's too dangerous. They could be out there somewhere. Somebody's got to get help, Lois. Besides, there's not an ant alive who can catch my hot rod. Yeah, that's right, Missy. 
Shelly Sheridan, aren't you? <laughs> Are you okay? Come on. I'm fine, but, but I just got a little carried away because Gus got eaten by the giant ant. Oh. Okay. Here, I got you. Look, I could have gone to the prom if I wanted to, okay? I mean, five guys asked me to go. There was there was Tony Palandino and Mike Gelman and, and Kenny Edwards and Eddie Sokoloff and, and that exchange student from Pakistan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why, why didn't you go with one of them? Because I was waiting for Kevin McCray to ask me. Not that I care, you know. I'm glad he didn't ask me. I didn't want to go with him anyway. I'd much rather watch a good movie. <laughs> die, insect! Die! So, uh, what are you doing here? I'm hiding. From my father. See, he'd kill me if he knew I didn't make it to the prom. Just don't tell anyone from school you saw me here, okay? Who would I tell? No one speaks to me. Right. You want some popcorn? Uh, no, thanks. I have enough here. Look, can, can we just ignore each other, okay? Just sit back and watch the movie and pretend you don't know who I am, and I will do the same for you, Don. Damn. Sorry. Look at that ant, man. It's so fakey. It looks like a little tin well. What do you mean? You know, Skip, ants love candy. I can't believe this is happening. I'm going to die. I'm simply going to die. They're only 10th graders. 10th graders from Hoover High. Everybody knows me at that school. If they see me, the whole world will find out that I didn't have a date to the prom, and you have no idea how humiliating that would be. You guys, let's move up a little closer. Oh, my God! They're coming this Come way! On. Do something! Oh, no! No! Wait, no! Oh, come on, so it hurts our ears. Yeah, come on. I can't believe it! Hey, look at that girl on the ground. Hey, maybe she drops some change. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Let's move up, huh? Get off those seats. Get back there. Come on. Hey, who do you think you are? I am an usher, thank you very much. Why do you think I have this tux on, huh? To go to the prom? Well, we're not doing nothing. That's right. Don't give me any of that lip, young man. Now sit down and be quiet. There are decent people in this theater, and they're trying to watch ants. Yes, sir. Candy, eh? Can't tell you how many times I've seen this happen. It's a sad sight. Oh, this is a nightmare. Yeah. This is horrible. This is worse than the time that I had a milk mustache and everyone was staring at me. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I caught that on Nightline, I think. <laughs> Look, do you have a car? No, I took a limo. I couldn't afford to have him stay all night for me. I suppose. <laughs> Well, I could give you a ride home. <laughs> home? I can't go home. My little sister's there. She hates me. If she found out that I didn't have a date to the prom, she'd tell all the junior high kids, and then all my friends would find out, and then the whole world would know, and then, and then... The, uh, milk mustache. <laughs> exactly. Look, um, <laughs> I can't go home either. Um, so if you want to, and, and you 
you don't mind too terribly much, <laughs> you, know, you could hang out with me all night. I don't think that that's... Yeah, hey, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> I don't know what got into me. That's great, I love That's Phil Hargrove and Donna Munson, who used to date my best friend's brother, Dave. What did you do? Write your name on a wall somewhere? Where's your car? Right out here. No, let's go the back way. Come on. Let's go. Where are you going? I'm not sure how long I can stay, Dr. Lefkowitz. I have an early patient in the morning. He suffers from displaced aggression, and if I'm late, he breaks all my pencil points. <laughs> Please, will you call me Jack? Hmm? Cooking's just one of the ways that I like to express the yin, the feminine, the sensitive part of my personality. What's your poison? Banana daiquiri. You know, I don't get to meet many really sensitive men. Well, except this one patient I have, but of course he's heavily medicated. I'll tell you the truth, Cecile. I think one of the reasons that my own sensitivity awareness is so heightened is I know what it's like to go through a divorce and uh, try to raise a child alone. I'm all out of bananas. I hope you don't mind bourbon. So you have a child, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not to worry, he's going to be out late tonight, so you and I have this place to ourselves until morning. Is it the senior prom? <laughs> oh, then what's his corsage doing here? Oh, well, he must have forgotten that. You smell so nice. Uh, don't you think that's just a little insensitive? I mean, just imagine his feelings of embarrassment and inadequacy. You know, something like this could really scar him emotionally. Yeah, yeah, it could. Listen, you want to uh, come downstairs and kick your shoes off? Hmm? I think you should drive this over to the prom. What? No, no, forget that. I mean, uh, no, I think that would just embarrass him even more. You know how fragile the male adolescent ego is? Oh, yes, I do. I wrote a paper on it. Come on, let's take it to him. All right, all right. Take him the flower. Hi, may I take your order? Uh, yes, please. Um, I'll have two bobbin burgers, uh, two regular fries, and two large ice waters, please. And I'd like a Moby fish burger, the whale-sized fries, onion rings, a chocolate shake, a cherry pie, and a couple of shrimp kebabs. That'll be all. <laughs> That'll be 1286. Pull forward to the window, please. Thank you. No, don't. What the hell are you doing? What? I know that kid's voice. Who? What? That's Stanley Lamar. His locker's next to mine. Oh. He'll recognize me. What? Oh. Go. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Yes, please tell me. Okay, we can't go to Pizza Rama because Michelle Fordham is the waitress there. We can't go to Dairy Maid because J.J. Corrin and all of his friends go there. And we can't go to Hud's because that's where all the kids go after the prom. And all the other hangouts are closed by now. It's fine. Okay. We'll just, we'll just drive around till morning. But I'm hungry. All right. I've got an idea. My dad gave me $100. I know this restaurant downtown my dad sometimes goes to. I'm positive you'll see none of your friends there. Fine. Oh, this looks fabulous, Kevin. Yes, it's an Italian specialty, my personal favorite. I order it all the time. I forget what it's called. Zabaglione. You're welcome. No, I'm a dessert, Zabaglione. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're different than most of the girls I know. You're, you're smart, and I like that, sort of. You mean it? Sure. I mean, why else would I have asked you out? Oh, uh, wait. This is another Italian special. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you like it? Yes. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Alright. Look, 
Look at them. Eating out of the same dish. What are they, dogs? <laughs> yeah, that sharing is nice. Oh, you know what they're sharing? Hmm? Germs. This happens to be the cold and flu season. It's lucky for her I got a quantity discount on the strain. here from Hoover High. Good. May I describe our specials this evening? Our fresh fish is calamari, squid sautéed in garlic and butter. <gasps> or for our less adventurous <coughs> diners, we... What are you uh, doing? We have a certain turf <laughs> special. What's going on? It's Kevin McRae. He's right over there. If he sees me with you, it will be the most humiliating moment of my life. As opposed to squatting under a table in a four-star restaurant? It's worse than humiliating. Did you see who he was with? Did you? It's Doll Stroll, the geekiest girl in the whole class. And worse than that, she's beautiful. So what do you suggest we do? Crawl out of here on our hands and knees? Excuse me. Shut up. Follow me. Shelly. I think you've made the right decision bringing this course so oh, much yeah. better. Uh, excuse me, could you get that to Dan Leftcourt? Dan Leftcourt? Leftcourt. Big Dan. Are you sure he came to the prom? Of course I'm sure. My son missed his own prom. <laughs> Had a good-looking date lined up, too. Nice rental tux. But he bought this corsage and... Uh... Well, there's no Dan Leftcourt on the list. He never bought a ticket. Never bought a ticket? Well, now, uh, what's the problem? I'm sure there's... Well, the problem is my son lied to me. My son lied to me. That's the problem. Well, Dude. not necessarily. Well, I'm Did you see the way Kevin kept staring at her? Do you think he likes her? I, I mean, like, like, really, really, really likes her? Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if he, he really, really, really likes her. But, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think, I think he really likes her. This is not funny, okay? Kevin and I went out for four years. I was deeply in love with him. Yeah, why? Well... He was popular. This, this is deep. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side. Only uh, seven hours and 46 minutes to go. <laughs> and then the prom's gonna let out in a couple of hours and the streets are gonna be swarming with people I know. Wait a minute here. Hold on for a second. I know this place outside of town. I am sure none of your friends would go there. It better be way outside of town. Where is it? Another planet. Wow. I come up here a lot. Um, I call it Space Mountain. See, it's the best place to look at the stars because it's the farthest away from all the light pollution. You, <laughs> you wanna see a galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Um. Right there. I can't see that cloud's in the way. No, that that cloud is a galaxy. Uh, oh, oops. It's it's the Milky Way. Right now you're looking at about a hundred thousand million stars. Give or take a few. How'd you learn all this stuff? Um I, I don't know. Um I guess astronomy's a good hobby. You know, when you have your nights free, and uh, and those nights are usually on Saturday nights. My Saturday nights aren't all that great either. What are you talking about? You've always got dates. You're always invited to parties. <laughs> You're the most popular girl in our school. Yeah. But why do you think 
Being popular is so important to me. I have no idea. Let's put it this way. You're not the only one who feels alone inside. Maybe we just handle it in different ways. You're standing in front of Venus, kid. Fred. Danny. How's it going? Good night tonight, eh? Well, it's a little hazy down here, but up there it is a miraculous night. Four planets in conjunction. Oh, oh uh, Fred, this is Shelley. <laughs> Hi. Um, Fred's the most brilliant man I've ever met. Are you a professor at Central? No, I'm a toll collector on the turnpike. Did you get a look at the Pleiades? Why? Are they crooked? No, 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 it, it's a constellation. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing with this nerd? No, Fred, no. She's not a nerd. You and I, we're nerds. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when it comes to this stuff, I'm, like, really dumb. I mean, when I look up at the stars, all I see are stars. <laughs> See, that's why the ancient Greeks used to uh, make up stories so they could remember the constellations. Like the Pleiades. That's so cool. What's that star over there, the real bright one? Uh, um, that, that's not a star, that's, um, that's Venus. Here, take a look. You look through the little end. Don't touch the knobs. <laughs> Even I know who Venus was. The goddess of love, right? That's right. Venus... Was the most beautiful goddess ever. She dated a lot. And, um, and all the other gods wanted to marry her. So who'd she choose? <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, she married Vulcan. What's so funny about that? Nothing, I guess. I mean, Vulcan was, you know, a nice guy and everything. It's just that he, well, he was the ugliest god in the heavens. Um, sort of like a nerd god. No, um, I just need them for reading, but I like them. I think you look good without them. I, I can see your eyes. Someone's coming. Fred, please, just for a second. You're a little low for Saturn. Oh, I wish I was on Saturn. It's my father. How long do we have? Um, uh, a couple hours. Great. So, Shelly, what are you gonna do with your life? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I mean, I do think about it a lot, but I still don't know. Looks like uh, neither of us know what we're gonna do. Yeah. Scared, Dan. Me 
too. My God, do you have any idea where we are? Uh, this, this is where everyone goes to make out. We're parked at Mount Neverrest. So this is it. I have looked for this place. I cannot tell you how many times. This, oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, gosh. This, this is This is a nightmare. That's Joe Shaw and Claudia Wallach. Look, look, look. That's Stan Spurlock and, and, and Annie Palmer. Any second, they're gonna look over here and they're gonna see me. Will you please do something? the only ones left now. Um, we could go home, but we don't have to. <laughs> um, it's, it's morning. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we, we should probably go home now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's funny how, how things seem different in the morning. Yeah. my house. Um, you better get out here. Why? Uh, well, you don't want anyone to see you get out of my car. Oh, right. I'm still hungry. Um, the only place open at this time is Hunt. And you don't want to go there. You know, that's where everybody goes after the prom, you know, for breakfast. Right. Goodbye then. Goodbye. Wade, I remember you. You're the weenie. Look. No. Yeah. No. Here, yeah, it's a weenie left court. It's, it's Dr. Weenie, Dr. Left Court. Hey, Weenie. <laughs> you remember the time you came to the prom with your aunt? Tried to pretend you were dating a cocktail waitress? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, sure, all right, all right. Maybe I might have been a little weenie-ish, but uh, people can change. Good to see you, Weenie. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> 